Someone asked me recently how they could use ClickUp to onboard their clients and build out a client portal. So I'm going to show you very quickly in this video how I've got it set up. The basic structure is we've got a client folder here called Demo Client. And inside that client folder, we've got a list for the project that we're working on and then a list for any requests that they send in. Inside the folder, I have got a ClickUp doc view and a feedback form view. So to add a new view, you just click up here and add doc or form or anything else that you want. The reason why I've done it in the folder level there is so that if you have multiple projects or maybe you have a retainer client, everything's just at the top level. You don't have to create a new portal for every single project that you're doing. Inside here, we've got a little welcome message. We've got a contact page, a project timeline, and then the project meetings. Before I jump into those, let's go into the actual lists. So inside the project list here, these are all of the tasks that I think I might need to do for a project. We've got the discovery call. We've got the send spec task. Everything's here. The most important thing is we have a show client checkbox. Everything that is ticked, the client will be able to see. Everything that's not ticked, they can't see. And the way that works is I have a client project view inside this one. And this has got a filter on it where show client is checked. If it's checked, it will show up in here. If it's not checked, it won't. And you can see discovery call is here, but send spec isn't there. Then there's a Gantt view. I don't really use this, but it's nice to have it. Like it's there if people want it. And you can again, share that with the client. And then meetings. And this one has got a filter on it as well. If the ticket type is meeting, then show it up in here. So that is the basic setup. You've got your tasks rule in here. You add a checkbox that says show client. You check the ones that you want the client to see. And then you create the client project view where you just show items that you want the client to see by using a filter on that checkbox. Now, if we go into the actual doc at here, so demo client portal, it's got the welcome message. If you go into contact me, all this is in here is the form that I've got here, the feedback form, I've just embedded it inside the document. So that's nice and simple. And it just says, hey, when do you want me to get this done? Put a description in here. What is the request? Fairly simple. Project one timeline, same kind of idea. It's just an embedded view. And this is an embedded view of that client project view that we saw. So the one that we just want the client to see. Now clients aren't gonna be able to click into here because of the settings that we've got but they could see where we are with every single task. And again, you can hide tasks. They don't have to see everything. They could just see milestone one, milestone two, project completed, done like that. That might be everything that you want to show them. And then the meetings is the same idea. They've just got an embedded view for the meetings. I realized after recording that I didn't actually show how to embed the view itself. So if we go to the client project view, click on it again, go to sharing and permissions. And then you want to check this button here that says share link with anyone. You check that. And then you can go to advanced settings, make sure allow opening tasks on click is off unless you do want the clients to be able to go into the task. But then you just copy public link. And when you're in your doc over here, go back to that one. Then what you do is you just scroll down here, slash, and then embed website. And then you can paste the link into there and it'll embed the view that you've got. Let's copy the link on that one. And we go to a private view on here, paste it in. So this is what it will look like to the client. They see the welcome bit. Awesome. They can click on contact me. They'll see the form. Perfect. Project timeline. Awesome. There we go. So you can't click into anything, but they can see when it should be done by the start and due dates and everything. And then the meetings, the difference that I've done on here is they can click into these ones. So discovery call, they could click into there and they go, oh yeah, I can see that. And they can see the agenda, but that's all they can see. They can see the status, the dates and the agenda. So I've hidden the comments and everything like that. So quite a nice tidy setup. All you've got to do then is say, hey, client, thanks for working with me. Here's a link to your portal. That is a whirlwind tour around how to onboard a client and how to set up a client portal inside ClickUp. 
any questions, let me know. Always excited to hear feedback on those and hear how you're using it and maybe build some better client portals for myself and my clients.